Hey, what's going on, people? This is your man, AG, coming back with a quick tutorial for MachineMasters.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add swing to your drums using the nudge feature in Machine. And this could be done on the studio, which I'm going to be doing today. It can be done on a regular machine, or it could be done on a Machine Micro. So it's whichever one you have and whichever one you prefer. All right, so the first thing you want to do is I got a kick, a snare, and a hi-hat loaded up. And what, I do, what I'm going to do is... Hold shift, hit grid, cut my quantize on. So now as I play, it's going to automatically snap that to the grid, okay? So that means it's going to be like stiff. And I'm going to go ahead and come out of that. All right, now we're going to go ahead, cut my metronome on, hold shift, and record to get my count in. Okay, so I got the drum, I got the regular pattern, um, a kick and a snare. Alright, now how I'm going to do the hi-hat, I'm going to hold note repeat. And that way you can find out how to do that for those of you guys that don't know. So I'm going to hold shift, hit record. So you hear how stiff that is. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use nudge to give it a little bit of swing. And how you do that is you want to go into events. You want to press the pad that you want to affect. So we're going to be on the hi-hat. The next thing you want to do is you can hold nudge, right? And the jog wheel is going to light up. Now when the jog wheel light up, you can move it. All right? But that moves it a little bit too far, too fast for me. So I want to hold shift with nudge and then move it a little bit and now you can see it moving very slowly alright so I'm gonna go ahead and play it and then we can mess around with the nudge and see how it affects the swing so let's play press start Alright, so I like that right there. I would leave it just like that. Um, and you can play around with it to get it to your swing or your likings, but you can go ahead and go into the snare if you wanted to. You would have to deselect that. Again, press start. And that moved the snare around a little bit. So you can play around with it. Like I said, experiment. You can find your own little groove with doing this. I hope this was beneficial to some of you guys. If you're looking for more tutorials, make sure you check out MachineMasters.com. Uh, we got sample packs, beat battles, and then we got our online radio show for you guys that want to be heard. All right, until the next video, I'll holler at y'all. Peace.